John Schneider spoke out about the upcoming season, and he had a lot of interesting things to say about Alec Manoa, who is poised for a comeback year. He looks thin. He looks to be in great shape. And don't be shocked if he returns to his 2022 form. So we'll break that down and much more on this episode of Jay's Digest. What's up, Jays fans? I'm your host, Peter Vionis, alongside host Nick Goss, and we're getting closer. We're getting closer to spring training baseball. We're getting closer to opening day of the Major League season, and I could not be more excited. Nothing gets me going like seeing these guys report for the first time, and they're they're rekindling their relationships. They're they're looking happy to be back on the playing field, and Alec Manoa was one of those guys that got in early. He got his work done, and he looks good. He threw his first bullpen today. The ball looks to be jumping out of his hand and he looks to be in much better shape than he was last year which was a big problem and his conditioning just wasn't up to par for him to perform the way that he expected and, and the way that the Blue Jays expected so I expect a different thing a different type of performance from him this season and uh, it's very exciting if you're a Blue Jay fan. Baseball is back today's the first official day we saw all the walk-ins a quick reminder uh, to hit the subscribe button if you're excited because we're going to be covering you guys throughout the, all the spring training all the regular season all the latest news and all that so make sure to hit that button now Peter Today was the day that everything's starting to come together to a degree. We finally yeah. saw Alec Manoa. Yeah, well, we didn't see him in person, but the reporters there saw him in person. And what a drastic, drastic change compared to last season with the mentality. Everything. I'm fired up. And let's just get right into it. This video will focus on some of the comments, mainly Alec Manoa, because Peter... You might have seen it in the thumbnail if you're watching this video. He is much thinner, much better shaped than he was last year. This is just, and this doesn't really do it justice. Go on Twitter yourself if you want to see, but you can even see from there uh, just how different he looks. He has a new beard rocking. He is, uh, he's looking good. He's looking ready to go. And I would not be, you mentioned it, I would not be surprised if he comes back firing. He saw that he was out of shape coming in. He would admit it himself uh, last season. He took things for granted, I would think, as well. Maybe who knows about that, but he is ready and primed to uh, be the number five starter spot. And I'm, I'm happy that he didn't come into camp um, the same way as he did last season would be the best way to put it. Yeah, well, well, now it's it's on the brink for him. And he knows that he has to work for the first time in his major league career. He has to earn his spot because it was given to him. It wasn't given to him. It was due to his great performances that we saw early on in his career that he got all of those opportunities. And he was named the opening day starter. And uh, it, he was given those chances because of how good and how successful he was early on. But he got punched in the mouth, and he didn't know how to respond. And he said that himself. He said, you got knocked down, and uh, it's not a good feeling, and you want to prove the doubters wrong. And he said something along those lines. And I'm sure he will prove a lot of people wrong. But if you pop up that picture for me one more time, Nick, it can't be lost on us that Don Mattingly, his beard is just um, – it's, it's luscious. I don't know what else to say about that. I mean, I think that's the big storyline here that we're leaving out in this picture. Look at that uh, – look at that, the, the gray shadow, I'm going to start calling him. Look at that. Beautiful. But Alec Manoa does look a lot more slim. He looks like he's ready for a big-time season, and, and I just can't wait. Uh, you said he's going to be vying for that fifth starter spot. That's probably what we're going to see him get out of spring training. He's probably going to start the year as the fifth starter. But if he keeps up his performances and if he just keeps progressing the way that we know he can, don't be shocked if he's at the top of that rotation come season's end because I believe he's still got that ability in him. Will he ever get back to a 2.24 ERA and third in Cy Young voting? Maybe. He's still very young and he's very talented, so I'm sure he can get back to that level. It's just about how badly he wants it and seems that he wants it pretty badly so i wouldn't be shocked if he's at the top of that rotation alongside kevin gosman at the season's end yeah i'm curious to see how his velo is going to play he was down a couple ticks last year maybe with his new look he'll be doing it and yeah shout out to uh, donnie baseball there on the right of alec manoa <laughs> he's looking very very different and yeah. hopefully he uh i mean his role is different as well now let's get into some of the comments this is what john snyder said on the group in general he goes this group is hungry there's guys that definitely want to do more things than we did last year there's definitely a sense of urgency to do more um obviously there's a sense of urgency to do more they've yet to win a playoff game so that's a pretty you know kind of obvious uh, thing and we have avery here of the gate 14 saying alex incredible went you say kikuchi grow a beard mode too we saw it work for you say last year and everyone obviously avery's not actually at the facility but everyone has been there keegan matheson um hazel may all these people are saying that he looks alec manoa that is incredible and the china vd also had this thing to note here saying that uh, regarding just kind of how the the plan is and what he's gathered so far is that david schneider did outfield work over the winter and he'll be focused on second base and left field so peter i 
our lineup predictions are looking good because that's where we kind of had him rotating, especially regarding left field. And then Manoa's delivery is in a good spot right now, and his mental state of mind is right where it should be. And then with Ariel Rodriguez, he comes in as a starting pitcher. We'll be cautious because of the long layoff. I'm fired up. I have one more comment there to show you. Do you have any thoughts on all this stuff? This is a bit of, you can see at the bottom, uh, some interesting, actually notable news regarding what their you know construction might be. We kind of knew that, but David Snyder did do outfield work, which means that maybe, and it seems like they do maybe want him, and they do want him, in an everyday role against lefties and righties accordingly. Yeah, well, that's the thing with David Schneider. The more positions that he can play, the more valuable he's going to be and the more he's going to be in the lineup as well. So if he can play left field against lefties and you don't want to put Dalton Varsho out there, that's going to skyrocket his value. And I want to see him get regular at bats. I don't want him to be a platoon guy. I think he, he has a much higher ceiling than, uh, let's say, Santiago Espinal or Isaiah Conner Falefa in an everyday role. And I think just his play discipline, even if he goes through slumps with his power and, and just with his contact in general, he's still going to make things happen in that lineup. He's still going to get on base. And he's just a very polished hitter for someone that spent so much time in the minors. He, he looks like a seasoned vet up there in the box. And I'm excited to see what he can do this year. I want to see him get four to 500 plate appearances. Doesn't matter where he plays. His defense is not what you have him on this roster for. It's for that big bat. And he showed a lot of capability with it last season. And I expect it to carry over into this year. And when it comes to Manoa, he um, it, it, it hasn't really been mentioned, but he had a long layoff last year as well. He had some time to gather his thoughts and he had some time to really rest his arm because it looked like it was dead for the majority of that season. So he was able to rest and he was able to give himself the ample time to recover and, and just get in the best shape of his life and come in ready for action this spring training. So I, I think that can't be understated enough. He's coming in great shape. He looks to be fresh on the mound and the ball was jumping out of his hand. Obviously he's not going full throttle in his first bullpen of spring training. But it looked like he was throwing hard, and he looked like he had that sip, and he didn't have that last year. It didn't look like he was throwing hard. It didn't look like his stuff was jumping out at you, but now it does, and I can't wait to see what he can do in his first spring training outing. Yeah, only 87 innings last year compared to a combined almost 300 in the prior two years. So everything is lining up for him to get back to a semblance of himself, whether that's 2.2 ERA, 3.2, who knows, but I'm very excited to see. And quickly before we wrap up, this is what Schneider had to say in general. He said, whenever you fall short of a goal, you look at yourself in the mirror and say, what can we do differently? Uh, okay, that's the kind of majority a majority of what we've been talking about this whole winter is obviously how what they had to change, what they have to alter. Because back-to-back years of the same result, obviously you don't want to keep doing the same thing over and over and all that. Any thoughts on this? I mean, they're all saying the right things. Classic spring training comments. I'm more excited for the actual results that we're going to see on the field. Baseball is a crazy sport. Crazy things could happen. The Jays could go out there and win 100 games. They could go out there and win 80 games, 70 games. Who knows? But what I do know is that Manoa looks great. Everyone's hyping him up. And I am fired up to watch some spring training baseball in just a few-ish, more than a few, but just a few days, we'll say, for the sake of uh, me being excited. Any final thoughts? I think I think it's time for Pete Walker to start growing a beard as yes. well because Don Mattingly has <laughs> just stolen the show. I, I can't get over it, Nick. I can't get over it. The more times you pop up that picture, all I'm looking at is that is just that that bushy beard that Mattingly is, is sort of, and he never had one as a player nope. uh, because he played for the Yankees. Didn't have one last year. He was clean shaven. It's different. I, I like that the Sending Blue a Jays message. are trying different things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, whatever works. It worked for Kikuchi last year. Maybe it works for Don Mattingly this year, and he turns the Blue Jays into a bunch of Don Mattingly's. I'll take that. I'll take some 300 hitters that are uh, smacking 30 home runs every season. I'll take that. But uh, look, I I'm glad that these guys noticed that they came up short. It obviously didn't need a genius to tell them that they did. But they took it upon themselves, and they said, enough is enough now. Alejandro Kirk has really slimmed down, and he looks like he's in great shape. Alec Manoa looks like he's in great shape. Same thing with Vladimir Guerrero Jr. These were all players with big-time expectations set on them last year, and they failed to meet those. They fell flat on their faces. Vladdy was supposed to return to his MVP year after a, a supposed down year, but I'll take that down year again if he can replicate his 2022 season. Uh, Alejandro Kirk was uh, an all-star, and he didn't look like an all-star at any point of last year. And Alec Manoa finished third in Cy Young voting. 
wasn't even a competent starter from day one to from game one to 162. So all these guys took it personally. They're so talented. They have the right pieces in place to do something special this year. But you need to perform up to your abilities. And I believe that they can. They, they just need to put in the work. And they have done that. Now it's time to go out on the field and put those results out there. Time to be optimistic. I'm ready to go. It's been a, a fairly long off season, And now it's time to uh, – we're, yeah. we're getting closer and closer to March uh, whenever opening day is. That'll wrap it up. Let us know in the comments if you're excited as well and what your thoughts are on Manoa, Don Madeline's beard, and, uh, and everything else. So thank you guys for watching. If you want to see our video from yesterday, click here. We'll see you tomorrow.